in addition to the standard form of the indifference curve which is convex to origin we have a few cases that are a little unusual and out of those we have chosen five for explanation let's uh, start with the first one it's about the indifference curve for substitutes here we are taking a famous example uh, where coke and pepsi they are considered to be two goods that are considered to be substitutes and yes they are one can have pepsi instead of uh, coca cola and uh, vice versa so if this is the situation the indifference curve will not be a curve it will be a straight line because uh, we can have one more coke instead of one pepsi so the substitution is uh, one divided by one so the uh, curve is not there it's a straight line and this is why we call them perfect substitutes then there is another case which is the opposite of what we did that is the complements so the indifference curve for complements will be now considered here you can see a set of uh, indifference curves that are neither a straight line nor a curve they are actually l-shaped indifference curves this is from where it starts and we can see that it is going in this direction that's where it takes a turn and we get an edge over here and that's where it goes towards the right so it becomes an l-shaped indifference curve this is the second one as you can see and this is the third one and the point here is meaningful because with one car we can have four wheels or tires with two cars we cannot have the same four wheels we, we have to get uh, four tires for the four uh, eight tires for the eight wheels and in the same way three vehicles cannot work with four wheels or four tires neither they can work with eight tires they can work only with 12 tires so they uh, have to be here at this point and for IC2 it should be this point and for this it should be this point so in this way there are um, three points uh, only on these three indifference curves that are valid other points on the same indifference curve are not making any sense the third possibility of the non-typical indifference curves is the possibility of having neutral goods so we can see in the diagram on x-axis we have a normal good but on x -ax y axis we have a routine medicine uh, the quantity of which doesn't change no matter how much the income changes of the individual so it's a neutral good remains neutral however the values uh, of the fruit they are changing that is uh, we can see with these arrows because they can have the effect of uh, um, having a variable value here however no matter how much or how less we consider of the routine medicine it will not be meaningful a certain quantity is required so this is why we do not have any uh, point of uh, intersection here we have these possibilities and these possibilities are three indifference curves that are vertical in nature now if I plot the neutral good on x-axis here for example the shape of the indifference map will look like this that is it will be parallel to x-axis where the neutral good is plotted in this case it is attendance attendance can be either one it cannot be half it cannot be 1.5 it will be one so a certain attendance is a value of attendance is there whereas the other requirements they can vary from this level to that level and then to any other level so this is how the neutral goods can uh, be drawn on an IC that is indifference curve if we have one undesirable good or a bad and the other is good that is a desirable good then the indifference curve will be a positively sloped straight line in this case it's a straight line um, and it will move towards right if we follow this uh, set of arrows it shows that the more we move towards right that is the desirable good it means the more will be the utility because uh, the undesirable good will not uh, satisfy us and will not give us the utility that we are in search of IC1, IC2, IC3 the utility will increase towards right 
and then we have the indifference curve for concave references where both of the goods are uh, public uh, they are bads or undesirable goods therefore the shape of the indifference curve have been reversed previously it was a convex uh, uh, curve and now it is a concave curve and in this case the MRS is increasing whereas it was decreasing in case of the uh, first case where we have two goods on the X and Y axis so the utility will not increase as we move ahead that is as per this arrow rather it will increase if we move from higher indifference curves to the in lower indifference curves and the more we get close to region the, high, uh, the higher will be the utility because these are bads these are not goods so the more we go away from x uh, the origin the lesser will be utility so this is how these five cases are understood and considered when it comes to managerial economics and the analysis of the consumer that what sort of preferences the individual have for certain goods and how we can understand his selection of the goods. Thank you.